Well, Vanuatu too has been buffeted by cyclones in the past two months. Emergency supplies of rice are being rushed to the worst hit areas in the southern province of Tafia. SBS journalist Tui Pulor, Evan Charlton has visited the island of Tana where floods following cyclones Vania and Atu have destroyed crops and contaminated water supplies. Cyclone season in Vanuatu. Locals scurry for cover, forced to navigate the debris-strewn streets of Port Vila. But surviving the initial assault of a cyclone is only part of the challenge. While infrastructure can often be quickly repaired, it's the destruction of crops and food gardens that can cause the most long-term trauma. An hour's flight south of the capital, flooding on the island of Tana has had a most dramatic impact on human life. It's all the result of back-to-back -back cyclones just five weeks apart. As food crops rot in waterlogged gardens, this highland community of Lamak can do nothing but despair. Even if new crops were planted today, they couldn't be harvested for at least another eight months. So children have been forced to skip school and scavenge in the forest for leaves and wild roots. Nutritional stress taking its toll on families. Sometimes I went to the garden with my bush knife and basket. I sit down there and cry for a minute or an hour. Then back home with my children again. Just find some few leaves or whatever to boil it for the kids to have. Families forced to make do for more than a month and a half while emergency supplies of rice were held up by government bureaucracy. Uh, because of these um, regulations, there is uh, three, three supplies of uh, rice uh, that have met this tender. And uh, so they have to buy rice from these two companies, uh, three companies. And that's why we are delayed for this uh, process. But here on Tana, it's not just the crops which have been ruined. The heavy rainfall has also compromised local sources of drinking water. These people draw their water from streams and earth-walled wells. That means torrential downpours can wash mud and debris into the water sources, causing contamination. Fortunately, aid agencies responded quickly, preventing a potential health crisis. UNICEF has distributed special water containers and provided villages with water purification tablets and medical assistance. Safe sanitation secured. But the long-term future of these flood-stricken communities still hangs in the balance. In Vanuatu, Tui Polo, Evan Charlton, World News Australia.